we have seen um, the uh, the recent uh, results of the general election and the new government uh, taking two decisions uh, as soon as it came back to power. One was to increase the MSP for Kharif uh, crops uh, this marketing season and higher MSP for oil seeds and pulses and also to release one more installment of the PM Kisan Nidhi. But the big expectation really Dr. Gulati is what will this government do and signal uh, in the budget. We have a new agriculture minister, someone who has considerable ground level experience, uh, uh, Shivraj Singh Chauhan. But where do you think uh, the government should try and attempt uh, to re-engage with the farm sector? Well, I think uh, the best way to engage with the farm sector and the farmers uh, of uh, different states is to initiate a process of creating a sort of agri-council uh, on the lines of GST council so that you can discuss and debate uh, across states uh, to win the trust of uh, other states what sort of all India reforms are needed because one a shoe will not fit all the sizes. You know, India is very diverse and cropping patterns are different. The state of Punjab may be demanding very different than the state of Kerala and so on and so forth. So I think that's the first thing that they need to put in place uh, so that the dialogue and trust building exercise can start. But ultimately, there are two biggest problems that the farmers face. One is the risk of the nature and mm. the other is the risk of the markets in terms of prices. Mm. So how do we ensure that farmer is made uh, somewhat uh, resilient to climate change? Uh, if it doesn't rain or there is a heat wave or uh, excess rain and so on and so forth. Uh, you need to do two things there. One is invest in agriculture R&D and those practices, farm practices, which are more climate resilient and climate smart agriculture. That's the first thing and that will need some money because you need to not only have seeds which are uh, uh, heat resistant varieties for example but also that information from the lab has to go to the land and extension work needs to be expedited extension in this country is more or less uh, dead the public extension mm. so that needs to be resurrected uh, second thing is that the PM Fasal Bhima Yojana the crop insurance scheme mm. has to be put on a very high priority with do quite a bit of technology infusion and uh, minimizing the human intervention so that there is a trust building with the reinsurers and the insurers. And it is made an automatic scheme wherever there is damage, hmm. uh, either because of floods or droughts or heat waves or uh, hailstorms. Uh, all these things can be automatically captured. That means a lot of all weather stations all over the country. And then you have a system uh, where uh, each plot is recognized, digitized, and the uh, uh, you know accounts of the farmers are locked in with that. Mm. So that even without asking, uh, farmers asking for the compensation, it goes directly into their accounts because you can build a system on that basis. So that's the path how to deal with the uh, you know nature risk. But then the other big thing and the demand as you rightly said uh, government came up with minimum support prices of Kharif crops the issue is not just announcing those Kharif crops mm. how effective is the procurement system as such uh, beyond wheat and rice in five six states it's not a very effective system government has not been very proactive in terms of uh, you know pulses or oil seeds and pulses and oil seeds we are importing right so wheat and rice rice in particular we are in abundance uh, the stocks with fci are three and a half times the buffer stock now right but you have to make sure that the farmers do get minimum support prices for pulses and oil seeds and in fact you should be rewarding them because they are not consuming too much of water or they don't consume uh, fertilizer they are nitrogen fixing so the incentives that the rice farmers get 
a similar package of crop neutral incentive structure needs to be created for pulses and oil seeds so that subsidy which is the fertilizer subsidy or power subsidy which the rice farmers get uh, can that some amount be given uh, to the pulses and the oil seed growers on a per hectare basis because they are not consuming all these commodities right. so if you can do that then you can do justice to the farmers to take care of the nature's risk as well as market risk so some sort of a stabilization fund uh, to activate the procurement for oil seeds and pulses so maybe 25 30000 crores will have to be spent on that